Martin was telling us that one of his operations is on Dame Eileen Atkins. Are you rummaging around there as well? Hi. And how is that? I have a rummage. Um, <laughs> Nothing to do with Martin. Um, <laughs> um, no, uh, Martin and I do an operation on him. We'd also cauterise somebody's nose. Um, I think in the same episode. Um, but it was it was really good fun doing that scene because part of it is Eileen and I having a chat, or um, yeah, have it, and him just telling us both mm. to shut up. Um, yeah, Mulwena gets a little bit more hands on. Um, hence demanding a pay rise um, but it was brilliant it was it was really fun to do all the operating <laughs> stuff Martin's favorite trick to do um, is to wear a head torch and shine it directly into my eyes whenever it's my take um, so that's that's always fun <laughs> and we've had a lot of good fun we, we always put in um, funny patient names so we've had a lot of good fun with putting a few a few of those in we had a, we had a nice old lady the other day um, older lady the other day uh, who was Alice Cooper um, <laughs> which was really brilliant and oh uh, Jermaine Mann that was a good Jermaine one Mann was a, that Paul, Thornley? Paul Thornley came up with that one, I like that one. Uh, and yeah it's I've got a, a list so last series I made a list that was in my reception book on the desk and it mysteriously disappeared between last series and this series so I've had to start my list again. We had a whole conversation at dinner when we were filming. Yeah, that, once you start playing the game of funny patient Everyone names, sits again. nobody really speaks. Uh, <laughs> so I've got a new book, so I might have to take it with me this time so it doesn't get stolen, because we've still got to get in Paul Mycock and uh, <laughs> Theresa Green, for example. Uh, there's plenty more. There's the plenty scope, more of my sleeve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think so. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's brilliant. Keeps us happy. So laugh a minute. Yeah. How have you found it working with babies? Yeah, I really enjoy it. The other day I had Ollie. He was a dream. He just sat on my knee. We were doing a lovely scene, and he kept saying "Wow" whenever I said anything. I mean. That's that's a, that's an audience I can live with. But um, there have been days when they just cry the minute they come into my arms, and it's like, please don't cry. Um, but I wear a lot of jewellery as Janice, so I can distract them with like my necklaces and my bracelets and just sort of anything shiny, really. Sounds like you have some of the uh, more interesting costumes. What will we see Janice in? Well, uh, my. My look is sort of trashy. Oh, not always trashy. Uh, lots of lo lots of colour. Tropical. Tropical. I'm totally tropical. Tropical Aztec. 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 You're more leopard print. I'm a lot of animal print. Animal print. Yes. I'm. More, I've got some Aztec. I've got some flowers actually. I get some flowers. Yeah. Some Just 70s flares. I don't think there are particular rules about putting outfits together. Les Lansdowne, our costume designer, is absolutely incredible. <laughs> and every day you open your trailer door and go, OK, good. <laughs> I'm glad I've shaved my legs. Oh, um, yeah. I get a lot of socks and sandals. I mean, if I'm wearing an open toe shoe, I have socks on with them, usually with animal faces on. Yeah. Uh, what else do I have? I have um, um, lots of hats, hats and visors. Oh, which I'm not a fan of in my real life, but I've, I've embraced it. With a cat's face on, which I actually had last series. And the other day they were doing a shot of me looking at some patient notes and its eyes are on my boobs. So it just <laughs> basically looked like this cat was just reading, reading the patient notes. Um, so everyone enjoyed that for longer than I knew about it. Before. I didn't realise until really late on why everybody was just going... <laughs> um, yeah. Is there anything you want to keep from the wardrobe? Um, I mean, there's a few individual items. Yeah. It's the combinations that are the killer, I think. It's the pattern on pattern on pattern. Um, I quite like my 70s bit. flares. Yeah. Oh, and you, that, you had a nice one in the barbecue. That was a nice... I had a nice play suit. Play suit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's better than wearing just a boring uniform every day, like, yes, at least like a pen hail. Um, um, <laughs> we, get, we get some colour. Um, but yeah. No, I love it. I love my costumes because they're very, very much more jazzy than anything I'd wear in real life. So I love it. Absolutely love it. Yeah. You get to embrace a side of you that you, you thought was long gone.